Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in today. So today I'm pretty much gonna to try to get this car out of the garage. Um, pretty much get some miles onto it. I'm sick of having it just sitting up in here, posted up in the garage like a garage queen, which is not. And yeah, so the last video I put out, I pretty much did the bushings, the lower shock bushings in the rear. And I changed those cause I was trying to get rid of like a clunking noise in the back and kept, if the rear feels kind of like uneasy. It's like, I don't know, it's pretty vague but it doesn't exude the most confidence when you're driving. So I was like, you know what, let me go change those out and see how it works. So it helped a little bit on um, the lower shock mounts, but the top ones, when I pull it down, I noticed that I need to get those fixed too. So I went ahead and ordered a new set. So I'm about to put those in today and hopefully those clunky noses will be gone. The one thing I still haven't really figured out too much is at least my window. I changed the window regulator last time. And for some reason, when the car is off, like I can't like touch the windows, push the button and let it go down or up, but even like accessory too. So. And yes. Darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. So when I turned the car on and everything, everything worked fine. The windows went up and down, but for some reason I still can't initialize it. So I can still control the window and it goes up and down, but it doesn't have the automatic feature or anything like that. Check through the code and it seems like it thinks my car is an E92, which is a two door coupe and I have four doors. So I can, I could initialize the front two windows, but not the rears. So I just got to go through all the date, date man's files and look through everything and see what's going on. Right now, the nothing's on. I just pretty much sat in the car. So right now it doesn't work, but yeah, that's given it shouldn't really work or do anything like that. So on accessory two. Oh shit. It works. It was not working like the other day. Like, what the heck is going on? Try this again. It's automatic down, but I don't have automatic up. Okay. Shock mounts I'm gonna put in, and these are the, what was it? These are the black ones. Yeah, black series. So I like the back to be really tight, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it in and see how it goes. It shouldn't be too bad because I already have the trunk liner out, so it is pretty much taking the wheel off, putting the car in the air, take the wheel off, and push down on the shock and replace it. So it should only take me about a few minutes. So in the air right now, and pretty much all I gotta do is just take these top pieces off on over there also, and we'll pretty much go ahead and pull the shock down right here. I'll just pull it down and I could go ahead and access all that. The one thing that pissed me off is I took off my passenger side and I got a freaking nail in there. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and I don't know, actually I'm getting new tires soon anyway, so that's for a whole nother setup I'm doing. Has something to do with these right here. But anywho, I'm just gonna go ahead and continue installing these right now. So I'm almost there. So, so I'm here to put these in. So this right here is my bushing. And I was like, what the heck? This thing literally is deteriorated. So it was not protecting anything. Look how much, oh my gosh. So pretty much it was just rubbing on metal on metal. That's why I was hearing those clunk clunk noises on this side. But yeah, they really need to be changed. So this is everything out of the packet. And the weirdest thing is it says black on the, the black series on the box but these are the yellow ones so in either case just gonna install them but uh yeah this is all that's included the top this is the bottom the shaft that goes through and on top and then this one like so just like so and then just gotta grease this shaft up so they don't make no noise. So there's two sets, one for the driver's side, one's for the passenger side. So yeah, simple enough, I'm gonna put them in now. 
All right, so this is how it sits so far. So everything is installed, tightened up, and yeah, have the cover on. Up top is on also. So the only thing, actually I gotta get a new one of these covers and get this whole trunk cleaned up. But yeah, that part's done. And should be good to go now. So yeah, that was pretty straightforward. Thought it was gonna take me like a few minutes, but it took me about 15 minutes to go ahead and do this, including putting the car in the air. And that sometimes is a pain because of, yeah, it's lowered. So for this tire right here, the, whatever this is, let me see. It looked like it's not that deep because it's not really, I'm not having any pressure loss or anything like that. So that would really suck, but I'm gonna go ahead and buy new tires anyways because I need to take these off and get some. I ain't gonna release. I'm not gonna reveal too much, but yeah, it's, I pretty much wanted to do this for like a long time. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it. But for now, driving out on the road now i just pulled over right now to check out and make sure everything's working good on it and so far it's stellar no knocking in the back and that's pretty much one thing i wanted to fix so that's sorted out right now so the only thing i gotta do now is i, I got a few other suspension tweaks i gotta do but other than that everything is good so yeah i'm gonna see y'all next video and uh thanks for watching